Hello, my name is Andrew and I'm an Operations Engineer at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland for AWS Managed Services. Today I'll be walking you through how to adjust default thresholds that are associated with Amazon CloudWatch alerts in your AWS Managed Services Accelerate account. Let's get started. There are multiple ways that you can use to adjust default CloudWatch thresholds in your account. Today I'll show you how to deploy your updated thresholds for your CloudWatch alerts by using AWS App Config. First, after you open the AWS Management Console, navigate to the service AWS App Config. When the suggestion for AWS App Config appears, go ahead and choose it. Please do ensure that you're in the correct region before we go any further, as this is a region-based service. When you are at the landing screen for AWS App Config, you'll see AMS Alarm Manager, as well as any additional configurations that you might have in your account already. If this is your first time updating metrics for an alarm via App Config, there should be no configurations stored in customer managed alarms. So for this video, we will simply copy the configuration within AMS Managed Alarms with the title AMS Linux Memory Free and drop it into a new configuration for our Customer Managed Alarms configuration profile. To make this easier for you, we will put the outlined JSON configuration into the description of the video below for you to copy. Now select Customer Managed Alarms. You'll see a section titled Hosted Configuration Versions. We'll be adjusting the default thresholds within this section for currently configured CloudWatch alarms. In this example, I'll show you how to adjust the value of the threshold for the memory free alarm for Linux instances that is configured in your account using AMS Linux Memory Free. This alarm is designed to send you a notification when any of your Linux instances reach a value of 95% of memory usage. But first, we need to paste in the configuration that we just grabbed from AMS Managed Alarms as previously mentioned. Next, select the orange button that says Create. After you press the Create button, you'll see a page titled Create Hosted Configuration Version. You'll see three options here to edit the default configuration of the AMS Alarm Manager configuration. Let's see how to edit this configuration with JSON formatting. Once you've selected the JSON option, let's paste in the configuration that we copied earlier on in the video. As you scroll through the configuration, you'll see on line three, the definition of AMS Linux memory free. For now, we just want to look into three values here. Evaluation periods, period, and threshold. The evaluation period is the number of the most recent periods or data points to evaluate when determining an alarm's state. The period is the length of time to evaluate the metric or expression to create each individual data point for an alarm. The value is expressed in seconds. If you choose one minute as the period, the alarm evaluates the metric as once per minute. The threshold is the value that determines when the instance enters an unhealthy state regarding the memory usage of said instance. In this case, you can see that the CloudWatch agent will collect six data points over a period of five minutes, checking that the threshold is not breached. If it is breached, you'll be notified by email about your CloudWatch alarm breaches. For this example, I'll update the threshold to 85% by entering 85 beside threshold. I won't be changing the values that deter the cadence of the collection of the data points. After you update the threshold value to something that will fit your application's requirements, Scroll down and select the orange button that says Create Hosted Configuration Version. 
After you choose the Create Hosted Configuration Version button, you'll be brought back to the landing page for the AMS Alarm Manager configuration. Within the Version drop-down list, you'll see your new version. You can verify that the version selected is the correct one by finding the value that you changed previously. Now, select the version that you just created. In my case, it's 11. Choose the orange button close to the top of the page that says Start Deployment. You'll be brought to a page with the title Start Deployment. Within the Hosted Configuration Version drop-down list, make sure that the latest version is selected. Note that this is the default. Because a threshold update for this config is a very minor change, I'll select the AMS No Bake Deployment option. Choosing this immediately deploys the change to the monitoring configuration within your account. For major deployments, it's best practice to talk with your application team to identify an optimal deployment strategy. When you are happy with both of these options, go ahead and choose the orange button that says Start Deployment. Don't forget, you can always create a service request to reach out directly to us so that we can assist you with this service whenever you require guidance. And now you know how to adjust the default threshold of a CloudWatch alarm within your AWS Managed Services Accelerate account by using AWS App Config. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Yay!